If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Well, first off, we're going to take a little bit of time to familiarize ourselves with the interface. Up here in the top left is the catalog view. And if you notice, the catalog is a listing of all of the different products that we sell, from our software and SaaS products, to controllers and management, our entire line of switches, as well as our access points. Now, you may notice that some products may exist in multiple um, multiple folders. That's because they may have been associated with a, one of our other products or maybe s commonly sold with them. That's the Ruckus Networks catalog, but then we also have this one up here, the new and updated category. So what this is going to be is anything that we've released that's new. Uh, you notice in here we have our new R750 access point, our M510 mobile uh, LT backhaul access point, as well as our line of CBRS access points that, that have just been released. In addition to the catalog, we have the advisors. This is the second tab up here in the catalog section. And the advisors are for those of you who are maybe not quite as familiar with our entire product line and need a little help selecting the appropriate switch or wireless access point for the appropriate job. So in this case, if we're looking for a 24 port power over ethernet switch and we want to know what our options are, the Ruckus wired selector is a great place to start. So we're going to double click on that. It's going to ask us if we want to create an express mode system. We're going to go into that later, but for right now, we're just going to say yes. And it's going to bring up this wizard style and we want to click on, let's say we need 24 ports. Uh, the downlinks port type, we're just looking for a one gig access switch. If you notice as I make these selections, it's going to narrow down my selections down here. Um, the uplink port, um, I would really like a 10 gig uplink on this switch. I definitely need power over ethernet. And the rest of it, I'm not as particular about. So I've got two options here. And so I can either, I can select both of these options and I can click the compare button right here. And what this is going to do is bring up both options right next to each other give me an idea of what the product looks like and the price range for both of them, part number, dimensions, all of the different options as far as ports go, etc. any of the information that you would need, uh, power consumption, uh, heat dissipation, so that I can make an educated decision about what I want. Uh, so I've decided that I really, I need the 7150-24P. So if I go back, I'm gonna select this one highlight it and say add the selected item and what that's going to do is it's going to bring it out here into my site so that I can do some further configuration. The wireless selector works very similarly. I can click on it right here. It's just going to interview me and ask me what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an access point right now, an indoor access point. I'm really interested in something that's Wi-Fi 6 and I've got two options right here. So that's enough for right now. I want to click on both of them and compare. This will give me an idea between the differences between the R730 and R750 access point. Um, we've got uh, eight stream versus four. The, uh, the different ports that are available. If you notice the R730 has a gig in interface and a five gig interface. And I've got a one gig and a 2.5 gig interface here all of the other information that I might need to make my decision. And now that I've made my decision, I think I'm gonna go with the new R750. I'm gonna go back. I can actually click on the R750 and add that item as well to my site. I wanted to take a moment real quick to highlight a nice little feature that's embedded into the Iris tool, and that's the ability to access the documentation for any of these items. Uh, so let's say, for example, this i6-7150 switch, I can right-click on it at any time and go to the documentation option. It's going to have a bunch of information, including the data sheet, overview, any of the stacking configuration, any documentation that we publish that is associated with this uh, device will be available here. Same thing on the wireless access point. If I want to come down here to the documentation, this is going to give me a quick and easy way to access that documentation, you know, instead of going to the support page and downloading it. Now, before we work too much in this new site, let's go over the remaining three tabs in the catalog view. 
there's the templates tab. And the template allows you to create standard groupings of materials that maybe you use uh, on specific sites and uh, to add those very easily. Uh, favorites is pretty self-explanatory. You can create favorite pieces of equipment that maybe you use quite often. And our last tab up here is the search tab that will allow you to search through the entire Ruckus portfolio for a particular piece of software or particular hardware item. Thank you.